Hi baby gals, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review slash demo on these new things from L'Oreal. So ayan, I have this kit right here. Ito yung bago nilang total cover line na ilalaunch dito sa Philippines. So we have the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundations. I have it in the shade 302, 304, and 306. And I did swatch them kahapon. Actually, I've already used these foundations kahapon. And I also have here the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover na color correcting kit nila. As you can see, it has all of the color correcting shades that you need. And we also have here the Infallible Total Cover Concealing and Contour Kit in the shade 220 by L'Oreal. Alright, so without any further ado, magsimula na tayo sa review. That rhymed. Alright, so siguro first, let's go ahead and try this color correcting kit. It comes in this packaging right here na plastic and I really like it kasi manipis lang siya, so madali lang siya to travel with. I like the packaging because it's very sleek and simple and sa likod, you have instructions on how to use this color correcting kit. So, kung first time mo to na gumamit ng color correcting na palette or concealers, okay na okay ito kasi it can guide you. So, we will definitely be using this today. So this is how it looks inside and meron siyang sponge na kasama or applicator na kasama as you can see. Feels good. Doesn't feel cheap like other, you know, free sponges that you get in makeup. And so this is how my face looks like before the total cover transformation. As you can see, marami akong redness, pimples, acne marks, hyperpigmentation, and all of that. So, tignan natin kung ano ang kayang gawin nitong total cover line from L'Oreal. First, itatry ko yung peach shade right here. Kuha lang tayo ng konti. Ooh! Napaka-creamy pala niya. I was not expecting that. Akala ko it's going to have a different consistency, but it's actually very creamy. Sabi doon that this peach corrector works great on the under eye area. Okay, I think I applied way too much. <laughs> Sabi na, ap apply sparingly, but I applied way too much. Wow! That is so pigmented, you guys. Full coverage siya. Ang bongga! Tignan nyo. Before and after ng under eyes natin. Wow! You only really need the tiniest bit for this color correcting kit. It's very saturated in pigment talaga siya, baby girls. Oh, natakpan niya agad yung dark circles ko. I mean, look at that. My dark circles are gone. And my face looks highlighted. I mean, my under eyes look highlighted. Okay, now let's move on sa yellow shade. Yung yellow, it says that it combats discolorations. I have some discoloration on my eyelids. As you can see, yung eyelids ko parang may eye bags din siya. <laughs> Meron din ako mga visible veins as you can see sa aking eyelids. I don't know if you can see that. But let's see if this will be able to cover it. I think yellow is also good for brightening, diba? And this sponge actually works really well considering na libre lang siya sa kit, baby girls. Bongga to. Okay, that worked really well as well. Kakaloka! I'm enjoying this! Kasi hindi talaga ako nagka-color correct, pero I think um, it will really step up my foundation game para mas bongga, mas makaro yung foundation natin, ba? <laughs> okay, next, let's go ahead and use the green shade. And I know green combats redness. Oh, neutralizes redness. Okay, so I have a lot of redness. Is there enough green corrector in the world? For my pimples. Alright, there we go. Na apply ko na yung green corrector. Some of the redness is still peeking through. I don't know if I should add more. Baka maging green naman yung mukha ko nito. It's surprisingly really creamy, baby girls, and very easy to blend. Like, I cannot believe it. I don't know. Probably I used way too much of this green. <laughs> Uy. Anyway, I have one last shade, which is this purple one. And it says here that this brightens dullness. So, ba medyo dull yung skin ko? I think here, size of the lips. That's it. We're done with the color correcting. And I hope I didn't do it extremely wrong, baby girls. Kasi this is my first time color correcting. But that is how the face looks like after. 
Let's go ahead and move on to the foundation. So I'm going to be mixing the shade 302 and 306. Anyway, this is how the packaging of the foundation looks like. As you can see, it just comes in this squeezy tube packaging, which I like because it's very easy to put in your bag or travel with. Hindi ka matatakot na mababasag siya in your bag. And it does have this spout right here. Tama ba yung English ko? So this is how it dispenses the product, which I like. It's very precise and madali mo makakontrol kung gano'ng karaming product yung malalagay mo sa face mo. And then it says here that it lasts up to 24 hours. And it says that it's full coverage, weightless feel, and it contains 1 fluid ounce of product or 30 ml, which is pretty standard for foundations. It has a natural finish dough. Um, it has high or complete coverage. And it's air light in texture, which is bonga, full coverage, tapos air light. I wanna see that. Weightless full coverage, bonga. Let's do this. Pag inapply mo siya sa face mo, meron siyang cooling effect, guys, yung foundation. And I like it, di ba? Bongga yun. Wala masyadong full coverage foundations na may cooling effect. Bongga. I'm going to blend this out using this brush by Anne Klutz. This is the Anne Klutz foundation brush. Oh my gosh. Yesterday, I tried using a sponge with it and okay naman siya. Pero when I tried building it up, it did look kind of grainy on my skin. Like, I didn't really have any dry patches on my skin, pero parang ganun. Pero parang medyo grainy yung look niya sa skin ko. But anyway, let's try using it with a brush today. By the way, this is my... Oh, girl! Look at that! Hindi siya ganito yung itsura niya na ginamitan ko siya ng sponge. Kasi diba, mas pinapanipis no sponge yung foundation. So, definitely, I think we will get more coverage using a brush plus na color correct pa tayo. Mas tap yung ginagamitan siya ng brush baby girls kasi I definitely get the coverage that I need. By the way, I did not apply a primer of any sort on my face. Nagano lang ko moisturizer and that's it. Ayan, baby girls, as you can see, I was able to achieve medium coverage from it. Uh, meron pa rin konting acne scars that are peeking through. But that's because those acne scars are really very pigmented. So we'll just go ahead and go in with a second layer mamaya. Okay, baby girls, um, the foundation kind of seeps in. So pores sa aking ilong. So definitely, I really need a primer for my nose. Medyo malalaki kasi yung pores ko sa ilong. And most foundations tend to do that. So ayan. I hope you can see it right here. Medyo pumapasok siya sa pores ng ilong ko. Pero everywhere else, it looks really, really nice. And it feels very light on the skin. Considering that it has a lot of coverage, tapos marami na tayong nilagay sa skin ko, it feels air light on my skin. Nakakaloka. Parang wala akong nafe-feel na foundation sa mukha ko, baby yes. Bongga. And it looks really nice. Oh, parang it has a natural finish nga on the skin. Totoo talaga. I'm gonna apply a second layer dito sa mga areas na meron pang um, hyperpigmentation, as you can see right there. Let's try to achieve a full coverage look for today. Right, here we go, baby girls. Natapos ko nang i-build up yung foundation. And it still looks really, really nice on my skin. Kahit na binuild up ko na siya, it doesn't look cakey at all. Pero definitely, it looks less natural than it did a while ago. <laughs> Parang medyo mm, dull na talaga ako. Pero I like the finish. It doesn't really look like foundation day talaga. Hindi siya ganun kakapal tignan. Pero I like it, baby girls. I like it even more right now using the brush compared kahapon using the sponge. Woo! Yes! Para na akong maneka. Char! <laughs> Gusto ko na hindi malagkit yung feeling niya sa skin ko kahit na marami akong nilagay. And I like that it feels really air light. Tapos, maganda yung coverage niya. Yung hindi ko lang nagugustuhan right now is yung pangyayari sa aking ilong. <laughs> and then, also, yung nilagay natin na characters under eyes natin, medyo nag-crease na siya, baby girls. If you can stay it's creasing badly and on my eyelids as well as you can see but I'm going to go over that with concealer and powder and then let's see what happens after that 
meron pa tayong isang cream product na itatry before tayo mag-powder. And it's this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealing and Contour Kit. So it comes in the same packaging as the color correcting kit, which I like. And sa likod, meron din naman siyang instructions on how you use this. So, very helpful for beginners. Alright, so here's how it looks like inside. Meron kayong maraming colors to choose from. And you do have this sponge applicator again. Oh, they feel so creamy again. Like, I'm not expecting it to be... Oh, that's light. And baby girls, here are the swatches no concealing and contour kit. We have three concealers and one na pang contour. Pero yung pang contour niya, baby girls, it looks really, really warm. So parang bronzer na siya or para na nga siyang blush yung itsura niya. I would want something a little more cool toned. Or, pero let's see what happens when we use this. And then probably for my concealer, I'll take this third shade right here. Kasi medyo yellow undertone siya. So it can help brighten up my under eyes. I'm going to use the sponge that it comes with as well. First, let's conceal our under eye circles. Ayan, dyan lang. Konti lang kasi meron na tayong nilagay dyan and medyo nakikrease na siya. And let's go ahead and blend this out. Not bad. Yung shade niya, not bad, baby girls. It's not really a highlighting concealer for me kasi medyo dark siya. But if I use the pink one, baka naman maging gray siya sa akin. I'm good with this. Okay na to. Hindi na lang ako mag-highlight today. We're just going to conceal the under eyes. It's really very easy to blend. Same consistency lang dun sa color correcting kit. This one works really nicely. So now, I attempt kong gamitin itong pang contour dito. And it is really warm. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit sa cheeks lang and then sa forehead and sa temples. When I apply this one, nakita ko na it kind of moves my foundation. And ito pa rin yung gagamitin ko pang blend. Let's see how it goes. Okay, not bad. It blends very easily as well. Like, no effort. It tap tap mo lang ng ganyan. And, nagbi blend na siya. Yung problema ko lang sa kanya is yung tone niya. It's very warm. Great, here we go. This is our finished look using all of the cream products. And okay naman, it all looks very natural. But of course, I'm gonna go over this with powder, baby girls. So far, I do like everything. Wala naman akong hate na product out of everything that we tried. The foundation, I really liked. And yung concealer and yung, and yung color correcting kit, I really liked it. As well as the concealer and contour kit, I really liked it. And update, as you can see, you know, crease pa rin sa under eyes ko really badly. Mm -hmm. And sa eyelids. But I'm gonna go over that with powder. And also, I'll be wearing this throughout the entire day, baby girls. Time now is 5.14 p.m. I'll be wearing this throughout the entire day, or at least <laughs> throughout the rest of the night. Graveyard shift na naman tayo ngayon, baby girls. I'll be back later for an update. I forgot to take a flash photo test. Okay, baby girls, so I tried taking a flash photo test. Meron siyang flashback, sadly, na malala. Um, pero kung walang flash, it looks really nice in pictures. So, siguro wag lang kayong magpa-picture na merong flash nito. Kasi meron talagang flashback. Okay? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, yun na yun. Babalik ako mamaya for an update. Hi, baby girls. It's 1am. So, I think I've had this on for 8 hours already. It's 1.30am. So, my face still looks really nice. Hindi ako masyadong nag-oil up with this, um foundation baby girls. I was not expecting that kasi wala namang sinulat dun na notifying siya. Anyway, I'll try to blot the oil on my face. Pero right now, okay pa rin yung coverage sa aking pagmumukha. Uh, medyo nawala ng konting coverage kanina nung nag apply ako ng ano, contour and blush. Kasi yung brush na ginamit ko was too dense. So it moved the foundation around. But anyway, the foundation works really, really nice. Bongga! And ito pa rin yung blush ko and yung bronzer ko. Let's try to blot. So, masama yung foundation sa oil, baby girls, oh. This is the amount of oil that I got, baby girls. Konti lang, considering na I have oily skin. Tapos, hindi naman ako nag-aircon kanina or nag-electric fan while we were filming. So, bongga pa rin. Bongga pa rin yung isura niya. It looks really, really, really nice. Considering that I've had this on for like, over 8 hours. Ang ganda and it feels so lightweight. Like, 
hindi ko na-feel na may suot akong foundation. Mas na-feel ko pa na may suot akong lipstick compared sa foundation. I love how it's so lightweight. Tapos, it really stays on my skin for such a long time. It has great coverage. And it really controls the oil on my face. So yun, I'm really enjoying this foundation so far. Mas nagustuhan ko siya today na wala akong nilagay na primer compared kahapon nung naglagay or no, the other day nung naglagay ako ng primer. Bongga! By the way, we're having a giveaway in this video. Um, punta lang kayo sa description box below para sa mechanics. And makikita nyo doon kung ano yung mga kailangan nyo gawin para manalo ng L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Products. So make sure to check out the description box below and follow all the rules para may chance kang manalo. I think we're having two winners. I'll have everything in the description box below para hindi ako magkamali. Pero yun, that's it for our video for today. I'm really excited to have found this new product. Thank you, Mai, for hooking it up for me. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, baby girls. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye!